So we can now go ahead and click on reports. Reports is truly the backbone of the system. You know, having your iPad capturing the information in the field, uh, taking those photos, marking up those plans is really great. But really, unless you're able to pull the relevant data at the level of detail you need it out of the system, um, you, you're not maximizing your use of the system. So by clicking on reports here, we're now taking all this data, the wealth of information we've captured in the field, and we're now able to manage it, report out on it, distribute it, you know, at the level of detail that at a user's level we need. So you can see here the recently run reports that I have here. I can go ahead and see the last time it was run. I can also click run here to run those based on the parameters I defined. I can see a list of saved reports here. So who saved them, what reports are being run. I can also run those, I can make a copy of it or actually delete those out because of my permission on this project. If I click on issues, you can see some of our issue-based reports. Again, the key is, you know, whoever you are on the project, you're going to have reports in here that make sense for your role and what you need to see. And if you're a project manager, you might be concerned with how quickly it's taking your subcontractors to respond to their unresolved issues. You know, now that we have all this data, it's no longer, you know, it, you're kind of you're kind of taking a while to turn these issues around. We're, we're going to need you to speed up. That's not going to be the, the, the debate anymore. You're going to have real data based on information in the system, and you're going to be able to say, hey, companies A, B, and C are taking four days to turn around their issues. You guys at company D, it's taking you guys on average nine days. You know, what's going on here? How can we help you out? You know, if you're a superintendent, you're out on the field the day to day. You might need a more concise report here with all the details of every issue. Higher level here. You might be a project executive overseeing four, five, six different jobs. You're not going to want all the basic information, all the photos, all the nitty gritty details. You're probably going to want to take a look at a trend by project. You know, how are these projects progressing? Are we closing out issues you know, at a good rate here um, you know, for some of those bigger picture projections? The key of all our reports here is it's going to give you the information you need based on the data in the system at the level of detail you need it. So issue-based reports, we have checklist-based reports. So now you're taking a look at the activity. How frequently are we running these reports, or these checklists, excuse me? What about our issues being generated from those checklists? Are they being resolved in a timely manner? What is the status of those issues? Observation summary by project. So you're a quality director, you're a safety director. You're able to come and take a look at the conformance rate and the coverage rate of some of your, your structured programs here um, across multiple projects. Coming into equipment, you can take a look at the checklists that have been associated there. How complete are our pre-functional test checklists in association with our MEP equipment? You know, if your pre-functional test checklist is 85% complete, you're pretty much 85% pre-functional in terms of you know, that particular piece of equipment. You can run a report on the statuses of those equipment. So based on big proje big picture projections you know what does that look like in terms of you know the status of our major MEP components that we're tracking here finally our task based reports you can come in and see the details of all the tasks you've assigned out you can see any issues generated from those tasks a summary breaking down those tasks and the responsible people there I'm gonna come into an issue based report here and show you the basic structure of all of our reports so I'll go ahead and go to this issue list report. This is the one that's most commonly distributed to our subcontractors and third parties. So you can come in here and at a basic level you have the ability to make configurations to this report. So the name, how you intend to group it, how you intend to sort it. A really common one is sorting this by due date. Again, we use due date to prioritize work for our third parties. Sorting that report for them is a great way to just tell them, hey, start at the top, work your way down. Filters are a way for us to define you know, which issues will actually make it into the report. You know, we have all this information, how do we want to slice and dice it to produce exactly what we want to see? So you can slice it by issue type, by author, by the data was created, due date, company was assigned. Again, all these data points that we've captured or we've inputted, how do we want now want to manage it and, and pull data, extract it from the system? And then finally, extras. Of those issues that made it into this report, how do we want to supplement them? Do we want to show attachments? If show, if so, where? After each item, what's the size? Do we want to include comments, etc.? 
So again, just supplements to the issues in here. So once we've filled this out, we have a few options. We can run this report right here, right now. We can view it, we can save it, we can send it out. We also can save this report. So for future access, rather than having to come in and redefine all these parameters, you can come in and you can save it and run it whenever you need. Also, the most powerful aspect is to automate the generation of this report by scheduling it. So you can come in here and you can give this a schedule. So say hypothetically, this is going to be our weekly issue report. You can have this report automatically run, in this case at a weekly basis. You can then define the frequency. We want this to run every week on Monday morning, 6 a.m. So based on the parameters we defined in here, this report will generate at this date, this time, and be sent to these individuals. Pretty powerful there to automate that reporting uh, based on the wealth of data that's here in the database. 